Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at a reference angle. So take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so reference angles are, what are they? They're acute angles. And they're always between the terminal side of whatever angle you have and the x-axis. So our angle right here is 22 7 radians. That's the default. Um, and 22 divided by 7, you might recognize as a famous approximation of pi. And if we look at that and compare it to pi, we can see it's a little bit more than pi. Why do I tell you that? Because our landmark here is pi radians. And that's pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 2. So when you're given a measurement like this in radians, you should be able to approximate where it is. In our case, it's a little bit past pi radians, so maybe like that. Although it's probably much closer in this case. We can convert it to C, but that's the idea. That's our angle. The reference angle is an acute angle between the terminal side, that's the end of the angle here, and the x-axis there. That's our reference angle. How can you find that? We would just do 22 sevenths, the angle we have, minus pi. And those are both measurements in radians. So 22 sevenths minus pi. And there's our angle. I think I asked for this in 10,000. So 0 0.0013 radians. And remember, with um, radians, you can convert to degrees by multiplying by 180, 180, and dividing by pi. You can see it's a really tiny angle, so maybe it would have been more accurate to draw it like up here. But I wanted you to see where the angle lies, get the essence of it. All right, I hope that helped.